In 2019, researchers from the University of Connecticut wanted to figure out why certain kids in school were popular and why others weren't. But the most popular students, well, they were both loved and feared. So in today's video, I will show you how to become a popular student by showing you three ways to make students fear you and three ways to make students love you. So you are right in the middle and you become that popular student everyone wants to hang out with. One, use sports to make others fear you. You see, in medieval times, warlords would use the perceived superiority effect to make other people afraid. They did this by spreading rumors about their best warriors to make those warriors seem unbeatable. This tactic made the warlords' warriors more popular and it increased the fear that others had of them. This exact same strategy works in sports while you're in school because as you progress in a sport, people will start talking more about you and then they will start to fear you. So I'm gonna show you six sports that are great for making other students fear you from the least feared to the most feared. In the first category, we have mild sports. And while they might not scare other students, it will increase your reputation for being physically strong. These include sports like basketball or weightlifting. Next category are moderate sports. These will make you appear tougher and highly competitive. These include contact sports like American football and rugby. And then the final category, we have severe sports which will give you the reputation of somebody that should not be messed with because you can handle yourself in a fight. These would include combat sports like boxing and wrestling. Depending on your situation, you'll want to choose a sport that's the highest on the chart to make other students fear you and increase your popularity. And that's simply, students are now going to start fearing you, which will make you more popular, more attractive. But there are still two more things I need to show you to become truly feared by other students. Two. Do what you want to make other students respect you. When you become harder to get, you become more attractive to girls around you. This is a phenomenon scientists call reactive attachment. I'm gonna show you how to use this phenomenon to get more attention from the girls in your school. I started working out when I was 13 years old. And at that time, I remember I would go after school to the gym for about an hour. And that started becoming this addictive routine or habit that I would do every single day. And personally, I just didn't want to break it. I was addicted. And it got so obsessive that I reached a point that I would never skip a day, Monday through Sunday. From there, two things happened that I didn't foresee. Think about it. If you start doing it, your friends are going to start asking you to hang out. But when you're that obsessed of doing whatever you want, you're probably gonna say no because you wanna go to the gym. And what's gonna happen? When the girls ask, yo, why did Jose come? They're gonna be like, oh, he's at the gym. Think about how girls will start thinking of you. You're gonna be that highly disciplined dude that stands apart from everyone else. Of course, after that, you're gonna have more and more friends or more and more girls asking you to hang out. And if you can stick to it and continue to say no, it'll show them that you're a strong guy that's stuck to your determination and not like any other dude that will jump on the opportunity to hang out with the girl. And that will only make them want you more. So if you wanna use reactive attachment, just like I did back when I started weightlifting, I want you to start working out after school for an hour every single day. Then whenever a friend or a girl asks you to hang out after school, make sure you say you can't because you're heading to the gym. Over time, if you don't break, you're gonna earn more and more respect. Girls will become more and more interested in you, especially if you turn them down. Three. Use social rejection to make people think twice whenever they're around you. You see, the more rejected you are by those around you, the less popular you become. This is what makes people terrified of being socially rejected. So I'm gonna show you how to use this fear of social rejection to make people fear you. To do this, you need to become good at debating complicated topics, ideas, or issues. And look, you can start practicing every day. You can do it by just taking the opposite opinion of anything your parents, your older siblings, or even your friends have to say. Now, if you don't wanna make things awkward politically with your parents or something crazy like that, you can always just tell them that you're practicing your skills so they don't get like super mad or awkward between you, right? The point is, over time, you're gonna become better and better when under pressure, which means that when you're put in a situation, when you have to debate someone in school or in the middle of a class discussing a topic, you will dominate them. And then everyone will be too scared to speak up when around you. Up until now, you have now built your reputation as a student that will be feared and respected using the perceived superiority effect, reactive attachment, and social rejection, which means now I have to show you how to make students love you so we can balance the equation and you can become the most popular and attractive student at your campus. This takes me to number four. You need to use personality differentiation 
to make people want to talk to you. Personality differentiation refers to making yourself look unique to stand out from others and make you more popular. Now, one of the easiest and most common ways to use personality differentiation is through your style. So I'm gonna show you how to differentiate your style to make people love you and want to talk to you. To start, you need to find something subtle that also makes you unique. The reason I say subtle, and this is key, is because while you might know some kid that's popular because he dresses good or has good style, you probably know some other kid that is also really well known, but isn't popular because they dye their hair some random blue or purple color just to be different. So what I always suggest and what I did is play it safe, especially upgrading your accessory game with something that can be worn with all your outfits, like a high quality necklace or a nice watch. I'll give you an example. I've been wearing this watch from Aura for a while now. And you have to understand, I'm always networking with like high net worth individuals. And every time I wear it, it always just fits in perfectly in any room I go. That's because the design is unique. It resembles kind of like an AP, which is what I like, but it's insanely affordable. But what I love about watches, and I've, and I've been wearing them since I was about 14, 15 years old, is that it's a differentiator. Think about it. How many guys do you know wear a nice watch that elevates their status? Maybe one? That is a good differentiator that you can now use with every single outfit. Now here's the best part. Even though the Aura watch looks expensive, like an AP, it doesn't come for that price. Not even close. It's actually insanely affordable. And if you're a student on a budget, it's the best place to start when it comes to elevating your style and differentiating yourself. And I wanna show you just how nice these watches are. Cause I mean, you can tell they look good. They look good with every outfit I throw them on. Now, if I were you, I would run to pick up an Aura watch and elevate my style immediately to differentiate yourself from every other guy. And right now, there's a special discount code that's gonna make it even more affordable. If you guys wanna check out Aura watches, I'm gonna link down below the ones that I have in my collection so you can go pick them up and start leveling up today. Five, use social capital to make people desperate to wanna to be your friend. What researchers also found in the same study is that the most popular students had female social capital, meaning they were friends with a lot of females. So I'm gonna show you what the quickest way to make more females friends as quick as possible just by joining the right classes. Now, this doesn't mean I want you to join classes like home education or cooking because I promise you most men are thinking the same way and those classes end up being like 80% men. Instead, I want you to be more strategic and join classes that have been scientifically proven to have a higher ratio of women. I'll give you three good examples. Any class that's in medical science, proven to be taken by 84% of women. General education, proven to be up to 72% girls. And social science, also proven to be up to 63% girls. You do those classes and you're gonna make more female friends faster. Think about it. When you do a group project, the chances of most of them being girls are extremely high. Number six, use the five persuasion techniques to make students love you. I remember when I was in school, I read every book under the sun that I could find to make people love me, to persuade them. And most of the tips I learned, I've used my entire life. Now, instead of telling you to go read those 10 books, I'm gonna give you a quick 30 second breakdown of all of them. First, share positive gossip of people around you to increase their reputation and yours. Second, Use someone's name when you see them for the first time that day, and then again at the end of the day when you say goodbye. Third, compliment the specific thing you notice they spend a lot of time on. For a girl, it could be her makeup or her hair. For a guy, it could be his style or the gains he's making in the gym. Four, jot down any important notes in your calendar. If a girl tells you about an important exam she has coming up, strategically ask her about the exam that day of and then a day after so she knows you were listening. And five, Write down important information about the most popular kids, like what their hobbies, what their interests are. This is a sales tactic, actually. And then, anytime you talk about them, always bring up that topic, ask questions about them, and they'll instantly like you. It's crazy that ever since I learned all these techniques, I use all of them every day, till this day, to make people instantly like me. And if you do this and the other five tips, you'll be both loved and feared by everyone around you. And that is what makes you popular and attractive.